Ah, uh, that's good milk. I've had this weird craving for milk of all things. When I was a kid, I used to drink like a half a gallon of this stuff a day. Um, and, but I don't know why. I just stopped drinking milk. But then today, I was at work, and I'm like, man, I could really go for some freaking milk. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, vitamin D'd up. <laughs> okay, um, it's been a long day. Um, so I've been tagged, taggity tag tagged by Rogers Bays. This is something cool. Last year, we did the Make Your Own One Piece Pirate Crew, and that was a lot of fun to do to sit down and think of all the wide array of characters in One Piece and gather together a crew of the most biggity badasses this side of the red line. Um, that video actually got a really, like, high amount of views. Like more than I was surprised, more than I expected. I was surprised. Um, so this tag is your One Piece starter character tag. Okay, so the way this went, Roger got tagged by Dustin React, somebody that I had heard of before, and then Dustin Reacts got tagged, and I believe it started with a guy named uh, Tony the Prophecy, who I've never heard of. But shout out to both of those channels, as well as with Roger, as always. So the way that this tag works is you got to create your own One Piece character, whether or not you would be a pirate, a marine, a revolutionary, and then what kind of devil fruit you would have. If you did have a devil fruit, you could choose not to have one. What kind of hockey would you use? What weapon would you use? All that shit. And the way I understand it is you're not creating a, your own character, like, from scratch, like an OC. You're like, if you were put into the One Piece world how would you, what would you do? I think that was the, the premise of the tag, okay? Because we all know, like, if it was going to be me up here just designing my own One Piece character... All right, what's her name going to be and how big are her boobs? Let's see, at least Triple D, at least. <laughs> no, 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 okay, so let's let's just say, all right. This is an interesting tag and an interesting premise, though, because you're putting me in the One Piece world, and I've had this question asked before on live streams, like, you know, what anime world would you like to be in, Matt? And I have the same answer I always give to this is, I would not want to be put into a, a, a battle shonen. I would not want to be put into One Piece, or Naruto, or Toriko, or, or, or Bleach, or anything like that. Because the way I always envisioned it is if I got put in, like, the Naruto world, I would not be a main character. I would be, like, a random fodder ninja that got killed in, like, the war, you know? I would be one of those random ninja that all ganged up on Madara thinking, oh, yeah, we we got this guy. Oh, I would end up getting burnt alive by, like, you know, great flame destruction jutsu or something. Um, you know, that's the way I always envisioned it. But, but okay, okay, okay. Let, so I always whenever someone asks me that what anime what manga I would like to live in I always selected like a slice of life kind of manga you know because at least that kind of world it would at least be like less threatening to your health you know and it would work kind of like in a soap opera where you know I would just be walking to work one day then all of a sudden I would bump into a girl with a piece of toast in her mouth and we'd instantly fall in love or you know, like something like that like everything would play out very thematically at least even even if I wasn't the main character, it would be a little bit more thematic and interesting, and I wouldn't risk dying on a daily basis. But okay, okay. So, I'm getting off the rails here. My One Piece starter character. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna... This is really hard for me just to select it right away because I'm imagining myself like in the One Piece world as a civilian first and then I have to like choose my path, okay? So let's just say I get put into the One Piece world. I have I have no idea, you know, about like the knowledge that I have going into it because if that was the case then I think even Roger said this, you know, I'm not going to be a marine because I would know all about, you know, why the world government would be, you know, uh, evil and everything and why they're trying to manipulate the masses and everything. So Roger chose a revolutionary path. So let's just say I was born in the One Piece world as a regular civilian and I had to choose my path. Okay. Um, I would most likely not be a Marine because even in my current life, I was not really all that interested in, in joining the military uh, in any way, shape, or form. Of course, they come to your school all the time, and they try to recruit, and I knew plenty of friends that was in that uh, in the uh, military, still are in the military. Uh, one of my best friends is in the Navy. Um, 
you know, I have another friend in the Air Force, but I was never, I was never interested in that kind of stuff in, in this world, so even if I was born in the One Piece world, I don't think I'd be interested in that all too much either. Um, but the whole, the whole concept of, uh, traveling the seas, you know, One Piece is a world that's predominantly water, I would certainly not want to just stay on some random island out in the middle of the boonies of the West Blue or something, I would want to travel the world. Um, and, uh, I, I don't know if Revolutionary Army would be my, my call. So I think I'm just going to stay standard pirate. I think it's a good shot I might have joined the revolutionaries, but I think just in general I might have adopted the more of like the, the, the kind of uh, philosophy that Luffy adopts where the, the whole reason Luffy is chasing after the One Piece and trying to become King of the Pirates is not so much for the material treasure of the One Piece, but Luffy said it, you know, Luffy said it best. He's like, the King of the Pirates is the person in the world that has the most freedom, and that's the thing that I really want. So, I, I can see that as being rather alluring to me. Okay, now, would I follow Luffy's path the same way and, you know, like, set out to sea and, like, just with a dinghy and then collect my crew as I go along? Probably not, because that's not really a smart way to do it, Luffy. You got really lucky there. You happened to have the D initial, and that kind of helped you out. Luffy was just like, I'm out to sea in a tiny dinghy. Oh, what's that? A whirlpool. I think if any other, if it was any other person, he would got sucked into the whirlpool and died, and then, well, the adventure's over right there. Um, but no, I would probably do it a little bit more of a, of a smart way. I would either, you know, find a pirate crew to join that didn't seem to, you know, to, like, let's just kill everybody around, you know, and then join up with that, and then work my way up from there, you know, like, that would be kind of the, the, the path that I think I would like to take, or, or other option, I, I would be like the Kobe of the universe, and end up getting kidnapped by pirates, you know, and instead of, instead of getting freed and going to join the marines, I just stay as a member of the pirate crew, but I, I work my way up, I'm like, I know I'm just a, a cabin boy right now, but then I show them what I got, Maybe I develop hockey or something, and I show them my worth, and I become an actual member of the pirate crew that they respect, okay? Like, imagine if, like, Kobe was, like, uh, just, a like, a cabin boy on, um, Alvida's ship, but imagine if Kobe awakened his observation hockey while he was on Alvida's ship. Alvida might actually consider him a viable member of the crew at that point. And, uh, going along with that, I think, uh, I think observation would be a probably a likely way that I would awaken my hockey. I think I would go with that. I I am not an individual that would have conquerors. I, I am not... I, let me make one thing perfectly clear. I am not going to be trying to become the king of the pirates here, uh, or the even like a Yonko or something. I probably wouldn't have that high of an aspiration, alright? Because let me tell you something, alright? I've never been that guy. I have never been the guy that thought to himself, I need to be the best like no one ever was, okay? When I was in college and when I was in high school, I was always just trying to make it by. If I got, I, I remember when I was in college, I, I even had this meeting with one of my advisors once, and, um, you know, I asked him after I was in there and we do the advising session and everything, I think I was, like, picking out classes for my next semester. Um, I asked him, I said, oh, by the way, um, uh, could you tell me my grade in the class? And he's like, oh, yeah, sure. So he pulls up my grade and he's like, uh, yeah, you have an 86 right now. And I'm like, oh, that's great. 86 is like a mid B. It's like a, he's like a just regular B. And I'm like, oh, awesome, great. And he's like, well, don't you want to get it up higher to like an A? I'm like, nah, I'm good, Dr. Fabar. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm fine. You know, so that's, that's how I've always been. I'm just like, I gotta be in the class. I gotta see on that test. That's a passing grade. I'm good. Um, so I'm not the kind of person that would try to be a king or, or the leader of the crew. I wouldn't even try to be the captain of the crew. I would just be like, you know, one of the, maybe, maybe at the most, I'd be like the top three fighters or something. Like if I got really good, that would be like the highest I would be cool with. You know, if I became the captain, I guess, okay, I guess I'd roll with it, but that's not the position I'd really be cool with, you know? So, yeah, that's that's just my personality, right? So, no conquerors, but I think observation, and, and once again, you can have observation and armament. Many people do. A lot of people do. It's just that your, you know, your affinity is for one or the other. So, my affinity would be in conquerors, but I would still be able to use armament, just not on the level, like, like Tashigi. Tashigi could have used armament hockey, but it, it just wouldn't have been on the level enough to deal with, uh, like, Monet, or, well, she did, but after Zoro kind of traumatized her, so I'm gonna say that's more of a win for Zoro there, but, uh, it's just not on the certain level as it could be, you know, because your affinity just isn't in it. Um, as for my weapon, 
I thought about this. I sat back. I'm like, okay, my weapon. Well, I have a baseball bat next to my bed. Maybe baseball bat would be my weapon? Nah, that's just, nah. I have a lot of swords. Now, swords are too common. And then I came to my realization. You know what weapon is really underutilized? The trident. Yeah, the trident or the pitchfork, whatever you want to call it. A trident sounds cooler. My weapon is the trident. Yeah, I don't know what my epithet would be. You know, like, I, I don't know what I'd be called, like, the, the trident teching. I, I don't know, but it would be cool, right? And plus, you're in the world of One Piece. It's mostly water, so Poseidon, god of the ocean and of the weather and of storms. So I'd be, I'd be learning how to use the trident. I don't think that's a weapon a lot of people learn how to master anymore. I don't think there's a lot of expert trident users in the world of, of martial arts, but I'm going to be that guy. All right, and I would want, I would want a trident that would be like, um, um, I actually, I don't even know if it's called a trident at this point. If it's called something else, I'll put it down here. I think it actually is, and I think it's, it's, I, I think it's something else. But you guys remember Kai and Shiba from Bleach, um, and we, we don't actually get to see him because he was possessed by Aron Yero. But his Zanpakuto was Neji Bana, and it was a trident. But it had like a spear, like a spiral corkscrew spear on the other end of it. I want that thing. I want that to be my main weapon, alright? So, yeah, I think it's an underused weapon, but it'd be extremely useful. Pole arm, you, you, could, you fight at a distance, you could stab people with it, you can block attacks. If that spear thing was on the side, you could be like, big, big, shing! You know, like, that would be so cool! So that would be my weapon. Now, I thought about Devil Fruit, and at first I'm like, okay, I don't really need a Devil Fruit. But then I thought, okay, well, let's let's actually sit back and think, like, what kind of devil fruit would I want? Now, I've, I've come up with devil fruit ideas before. Um, I made a theory video on the water water fruit. I made a theory video on a metal metal fruit, which actually we found out in my filler devil fruit video did actually exist. The meta metanomy in the one, one of the One Piece plays, like um, Raging Steel Redemption or whatever it was called. For It was like a play revolving around Marine Ford. And uh, one of the Marine officers had it, and it was basically the T-1000 with the liquid metal shit. But uh, no, let's not go with any of that. And I also came up with the idea of the counter counter no me. Uh, and I even got some cool fan art with the counter counter no me, me as a Wobbuffet, being able to directly counter any Devil Fruit ability. So if, like, uh, Sabo jumped out and was like, he can! And uses Fire Fist, then I can use the counter counter no me in that one instance to also send out a he can! You know, and then block the attack. So, yeah, but that's that's a little bit too similar to the Mirror Mirror Nomi. So I sat back and I thought, and he's like, you know what? You know what? Let's keep it simple. I don't need a mythical zone or an ancient zone. I don't need a, a Logia or a really far out there Paramecia. You know what I would be happy with? Two options. You're going to laugh at me on both of them, probably. Well, I don't know. One of them might have a lot of viable uses. Let's do the less crazy one. It, it, both of these are zones, because turning into an animal would be freaking cool. Um, the first one, an owl zone. Turn into an owl. I think that's not a crazy ability. I think that's a rather a, a applicable ability. Number one, you can fly. Number two, uh, you would have really good night vision. Uh, and number three, you'd have talons and shit. Um, yeah, so I don't think that one would be laughed at too much to have an owl zone. And by the way, the only other character in One Piece that, yeah, Fukuro from CP9, he was based off of an owl, but he wasn't, he didn't have an owl zone, he was just a really round dude that, you know, coo -coo, you know, did the owl shit, but he wasn't actually an owl zone, we haven't seen that yet. So, I think an owl zone would be pretty cool. I could fly around, I could see shit at night, well, I'd transform into like a half owl, I could turn my head all the way around, well, no, no, owls can't do it all the way around, but they could get pretty damn close. So, that would be a cool ability, I don't think a lot of people would laugh at me that there. Okay, and then so my second option for a zone, get ready, penguin zone. Yeah, turn into a penguin. First off, that would be adorable. Shut up. That would be, hey, when we're sailing on the seven seas, well, there's more than seven seas in One Piece. There's actually, actually there's six because you have the the east, north, south, west blue, then the paradise, and then the, the new world. I, I guess you can include the all blue in there, and then maybe there's seven seas. Whatever, I'm getting off topic. That would be, that, that's a long journey, right? 
And you know how Brooke was the one that always brightened up his uh, crew with a song? You know, well, I would be the one when we're just sitting around for days, sailing around. Everyone's like, oh, God, I don't know if I could take this anymore. That's when I turn into an adorable penguin and do a cute little penguin dance. And everyone's like, oh, God, that's pretty funny. He's doing the penguin dance. <laughs> you know, okay. So you also might ask, like, well, why penguins, of all things? Penguins uh, live in the water. If you had a devil fruit, you wouldn't be able to live in the water. Okay, because you have a devil fruit. You wouldn't be able to swim. I'm like, yeah, you're right about that. However, penguins can live on land, and also they have a layer of thick fat, so they can survive in colder climates. So if we ever landed on a winter island or something, granted it would be situational, because sometimes we wouldn't be able to have it. But I love penguins, and penguins aren't really represented all that much in One Piece. We had we had Camel, which was uh, like a super penguin that Aokiji had, and that was it. Um, but, you know, I could, I could be a penguin, and if we were on a winter island, that ability would be extremely useful. I could, like, turn into a penguin and toboggan down a, a hill or something. Uh, yeah, I think I might go with the owl zone, if, if nothing else. Yeah, the owl zone would be probably my, my first option. But the second option, you know, penguin. Okay, cool. You know. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, so that would be my character, okay? I would be basically me with uh, an affinity for observation hockey. I would be a pirate. My weapon would be an awesome trident, or whatever it's called. And uh, my devil fruit would most likely be the, the bird bird fruit model... I don't know, barn owl or whatever, you know, just model owl, just in general. Um, I think that would be, uh, I, I, and I'm not trying to become king of the pirates. I'm not trying to become captain of the ship or even like a Yonko or a warlord or anything. Uh, I'm just like, I'm just a guy. You know, I'm the guy, like, if I ever, if we ever ran across the Straw Hats and had to fight the Straw Hats, like, the captain would fight Luffy and the first mate would fight Zoro. I'm, I'm the guy that would, like, fight Sanji. I would be, like, the third strongest, maybe. You know, I'd be like, all right, bring it on, Blackleg. And then we'd have an epic fight, and I'd turn into an owl. And it would, of course, be at night, so I can use night vision and shit. And then the fight would probably... And he uses observation as well, so that would work well. And the fight would probably end with him going Diablo Jambe and, and, and kicking me and breaking my trident and puncturing my freaking lung and me, like... <sighs> You know, on the on the ground, but um, hey, it would be uh, it would be a cool fight. It would be at least a two chapter fight. I would give you that much, okay? Before Sanji floors my ass. But anyway, yeah, that that's my One Piece character. Um, I guess I have to tag people now. Um, this is always a tough part because I don't know who else got tagged. I, I think Roger tagged uh, for Neverworld Joy Boy. Um, and I, I don't remember who else he tagged, but I'm going to assume it was like, okay, I'm going to tag, oh no, he tagged some patch too. Okay. I'm going to tag King of Lightning because I don't know if he did it yet. If anybody of these guys, if any of these guys already got tagged, they're double tagged. I don't know. They really have to do it now. That doesn't matter. Um, King of Lightning, Dan Fan, you got to do this. Um, and, uh, Nux Taku. Let's tag, let's tag Nux Taku. And, uh, Anime Uproar. I'll tag him too. Okay. Uh, I'm just going down the list of people that help me out with the charity stream now. But, hey, thank you for that. My reward, your reward is I tag you and you make another video. Um, but okay. Uh, yeah, that was my video. Hope you enjoyed... Uh, my, my, uh, the, the way that I would turn out in the One Piece world, and, and you guys can comment below on what, if you don't feel like making a video, you could just comment below on, on what your One Piece character would be like. Keep in mind, you're not designing your own character, you're, you're, like, envisioning yourself in the One Piece world. At least that's the way I took it. I might have been off the base on that. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Have a good night, everybody, and remember, gotta drink your milk, kids. Yeah.